Hi everyone, so now we're going to learn about the R environment and we're going to use RStudio to learn about R workspaces and the working directory. Now these are the two things that are very important to help you manage all your file system and where everything is going to be stored. It tends to be the area that um, you fumble the most with when you first start with R. But hopefully by the end of the video, I'll convince you that using the project option in R Studio is probably the best way to avoid those kind of complications. Okay, so let's start. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create two different projects and explain to you how the workspace works and the working directory. So let's first start by looking at our file system. So here, you can see that it says home. So this is where I am right now. In home, in the Windows system is basically your documents folder. On a Mac, it might be your slash home and then your username. So here, we can basically see what our working directory is. So to see what it is, we just type get wd, open close parentheses, and we see that it's my documents folder in OneDrive. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to create a new folder where I'm going to use to keep my projects. Okay, so one, there are many ways to do this, but um, one way I'm going to do is actually use the interface that's provided to me by RStudio. So here I can actually create a new folder. So if I click on new folder and then I call it uh, project A. Okay, so now I have a new folder called project A. Uh, and then I can actually enter it by clicking on it. And here, even though I'm in this folder called Project A, um, you can see that my working directory is still my documents folder. So the option or the what I still need to do is set this directory to be my working directory. The way you do that is by going up here to the more and saying, telling it to set as working directory. And you can see that RStudio basically types in the command for you. And now this is your working directory. So anything you save uh, or load from, it will look in this directory by default. <clears throat> so let's ca uh, create a few things. Let's create an R script and a small workspace and store it in this working directory. Now, um, over here, we can go up to this uh, R script uh, option. And here I can start writing my commands. So again, it's uh, pretty much required for you to, or expected of you to write comments on what your script uh, does. So simple things like writing your name, right? Just to know that this is a script that was written by you. And then uh, for what purpose? So this is an exercise for video, okay? And then you can type in your commands here. So a simple thing we can do is create a variable with a fixed value, numerical value. Uh, we'll talk about objects, our objects more in the next video, but one way to do this is just say a equals five, okay? So one thing I want you to note is I'm gonna press enter now and nothing happens because this is still a text editor. For it to execute in the console where the work actually will happen, there are two things. I can use this run button here you can see that it executed that line uh, in the console and now I have a new variable called five. The other thing I could do is <clears throat> let's create uh, another variable b equals 10 and then is I can hold down the control button and press enter. So that's a nice shortcut to use so you don't have to move your mouse and find that button. So what, what have we done? We've done something very basic, created two variables with two different numbers now let's save this script okay we'll get more complex later on but for now just to get understand uh, an understanding of the environment let's save the script and we'll call it uh, project a uh, script dot r and you'll see that because project a is my working directory that file was not created in that directory okay now I'm going to exit this, uh, and when I exit, it's going to ask me if I want to save my workspace. Okay, so I'm clear, closing this. It says, do you want to save your workspace image to your working directory, which is project A, 
with a name called dot r data so this dot r data is essentially the default name for your default workspace uh, and then i'm just going to save yes so basically all these variables are going to get stored in this file there is a way of naming these uh, workspaces and i'll show you that in a little bit so i click save and now if you go to your file explorer or windows explorer or uh, on your mac um, you basically will see the folder itself that you created from within RStudio. And inside, you will see a .r data file. This is where I explained the variables exist. And there's also a .r history. So this is actually a history of the commands you've typed uh, in your RStudio. And then this is our script. So this is a simple text file that you can open up in any text editor uh, to look at. So um, <clears throat> let's see what happens. So now... I'm going to load R Studio again. So what R Studio is going to do is it's going to go back to my working directory, the original one, which is home, because I'm not using a project. If you're using a project, it goes and opens up the project. In this case, I'm not. So this is completely empty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into project A, and then I'm going to click on this workspace and it'll ask me, do you want to load this workspace into your environment? I'll say yes. And here's A and B. <clears throat> okay, so this is fine. You can continue to do lots of different edits and uh, work on your workspace now. And when you exit, you say yes, and it'll save all your values and also save your script. Now, let's say I want to create a new project. Okay, so I'm going to go to my uh, home here, and then I'm going to create a new folder. And I'll call it project, uh, let's call it project Z. Okay, so my project Z, I'm going to enter here. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to have different variables in there. <clears throat> okay, so in this, um, actually, I'm also going to have a new script in here. So let's create a new script. And in this script, I'm going to, um, I'll just copy this description so I can copy and paste into these text editors just like any other text editor and I'll say x equals 4 y equals 5 and z equals 6 <clears throat> now again as I mentioned nothing happens until I actually execute these right so I will run this run this and run this okay I should also remove a and B because that was from a different project so I can also say I'll write a note to myself remove uh, previous objects and then I'll say remove a and remove B okay so I'm going to go up here hold down the control button press enter press enter Great, so I've got a new workspace with new commands and in a new folder, so let's save this, okay? So let's save this as, uh, aha. So as you see, when I tried to save it, it went into the working directory. Now, what is my working directory? So again, let's just make sure. My working directory is still documents. I didn't set this to my working directory, so I'm gonna say more set as working directory. Now, when I try to save it, it will show me that I'm going to save in my project Z directory. Great. So project Z scripts dot R. And now when I close this again, when I save it, the workspace will save in the working directory. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And I'll say save. And now when I go up to my documents folder, I have two folders, both of them with different information and commands and different variables. Okay, now this is fine, but what if we want to work on both projects and you switch on and off? And that gets really, that's when it gets very tricky and very easy to lose track of where you are. So this is where projects comes in. Okay, because again, you see there's nothing in the environment you could go to project A, you can load this workspace, <clears throat> and you can actually, and nothing stops you from actually going to project Z, 
and loading that workspace and you'll notice that everything is now kind of together and maybe you want this maybe you don't I like to keep my projects separate okay so let's go back what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create our projects so to do that I'm going to go up here to the top right I'm going to say new project do I want to save this in my default? No, don't save. Uh, I'm say existing directory. So usually I pick a directory that has all my data files. That makes it easier for later on use. Okay, project A, create project. <clears throat> now what happens is when you go into project A, you'll see there is a project A.rproj. Okay, so this is the project file and this is what's going to keep track of what's available and what's not. So here is my workspace. I'm going to load it here. Now this is my default workspace in my default project. I mean not default project, in project A. Okay? And this is my text editor for project A script. Okay? Now I want to switch to I want to create the other project, project B. So save this. Again, is ex, uh, existing directory going to pick project Z? Say create project. Okay, so now it's going to be in this folder and with this workspace, and this is my script. Okay, so this is fine. So I had to couple click on a few things. But what's nice now is that I won't have to worry about too many things as I go from one project to another. Okay, so let me show you. So right now this is Project Z. If I switch to Project A, well, let's see first what is my working directory here. See, my working directory is my project directory. So it's pro working directory is Project Z. Now I'm going to switch to Project A. So if I click on Project A, it's asking me, do you want to save what you've done? I'll say yes. And when you switch to Project A, notice it automatically loaded the environment. It has the editor that I was working on and my working directory is Project A. If I want to switch again, go to Project Z. And it basically picks up where you left off. You have the editor, the workspace, and it also changes your working directory. So this will help you keep track of the working directory and your workspaces, what's loaded and what you want loaded. It isolates them. And a lot of times you're working on several projects at a time. It's very easy to just switch on and off and something that I haven't demonstrated here is that it actually also loads the packages that you had for the different environments that were present. So hopefully this is convincing enough to you that you really should create a project for every single, um, create an RStudio project for every project that you have and designate an entire folder for you to do the analysis there.